Back in May at the Google I.O. conference, it was announced that SGE, or the Search Generative Experience, was going to be launched within the Google interface. So SGE is a, a way of bringing AI from the back end to the front end so that users will see a much slicker and much more conversational experience within the Google Search platform. So instead of the traditional 10 blue links when you search for a query, Google's aiming to give you an answer to your query. So instead of having to search, find a link, go to a website, and then refine the answer on that website, Google wants to answer your question then and there within the interface. So SGE brings a much more conversational, more natural, and a lot more visual approach to search engines. Uh, within the platforms itself uh, for advertising, there's not a lot that will need to change within Google Ads itself. A lot of the changes that Google have been making to their platform over the past coming years are leading up to this point where people are less focused on keywords and a bit more focused on the audience and the intent of that audience. And a lot of match type changes and even the launch of campaign types such as Performance Max are heavily geared to be less specific and more about matching to the intent. So if you're an advertiser running some of these campaign types or with the likes of broad match or even exact match these days, it's very likely that you're still going to easily show ads against new longer tail, more conversational type queries that will be generated by SGE. Uh, within SEO, it's still going to be very important to be able to write very rich quality content because in the early testing that we've seen, this is the type of content that Google is accessing to use to help generate the answers, but also the content that it is using to reference to and to link people towards. Because it does appear that there still is an element of linking to websites within the results that it gives. Uh, and we've also seen that within the results it gives, it likes to prompt people to ask follow-up questions. And these are additional uh, points within the process where Google can inject more links either to reference additional websites for people to get more information or to inject other ads, uh, sponsored links uh, as they go through the process. So it still seems very much it will be business as usual for advertisers because you'll still be appearing for the same types of queries. Maybe the, the, the type of response you'll get from the ads could be different because it looks like it won't be the same block of four ads at the top. Uh, but for SEO, it might be slightly different because there will be a lot of answers that don't necessarily require a click to a website. So on more informational type keywords, it could be that traffic will change quite a lot. So that'll be interesting for people to monitor. And with SGE still under heavy testing, it'll be interesting to see what the final version looks like when it's eventually released later this year. So far, it's been released in the US uh, with Japan and India being the next countries to have versions being released for testing. You can get access on Search Labs, which is Google's searching uh, platform, to be able to play around and see how it works. But it has been spotted in the wild with versions of it being tested with, with normal users. The uh, advertising side of it, again, is still yet to be fully developed with a couple of different iterations of how the ads are being injected uh, and also how links are being treated as well. There's several variations that we've seen in how they're, they're currently testing. So hopefully later in 2023, we will see the final version launched for all the public, but then expect further testing to happen after that, as testing is something that Google is very, very keen on doing to keep iterating its products. So look for that. Hopefully you'll get launched uh, worldwide for everyone soon, and then further testing from then on. Then we can see the, the true performance of how it's gonna impact our campaigns.